Hi and welcome to Project Martin. Um, <laughs> the, the video you're about to see uh, is quite short and um, it was actually meant to be a YouTube short but I shot it in the wrong orientation. Um, but there's a brief backstory to this which is um, Joe and myself um, went on honeymoon down to St Ives for a long weekend. On the way there we saw a sign saying Winkley and uh, I convinced Joe <laughs> that it was a very short detour. Um, just to swing by there on the way home. Um, so yeah, we swung by Winkley, which is where uh, Bowton were based uh, when the Marlin was, uh, the chassis for the Marlin was built there. And um, very, very brief video, but uh, this is what we found. I've just persuaded the wife for a bit of a detour on the way back from Cornwall, um, because we spotted Winkley on the map. <laughs> and there's uh, still a, a Bowton sign here, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is up here where the chassis for the Marlin was built, which is also pretty cool to be here. Um, I think it's changed a bit since then, but uh, we'll have to have a look on some of the old maps. Uh, I'm not going to put the usual ending in here. Um, what we will say is we did find one other thing um, this last week that I think is really exciting, and it's again to do with the Marlin's early history. Uh, we found a photo taken by uh, a gentleman at Fire International in 1989. Uh, of the Marlin and um, Graham Hopwood has uh, kindly said that we can, can uh, use the picture in the video. So um, thanks for watching and I will leave you with a picture of the Marlin on the Fire Trucks Limited stand at Fire International 1989. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. 